Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the OnePlus 6T, my OnePlus 6T running Siberia ROM. I really, really love it. This is based on Android 9.0, of course, rooted. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hi guys, so I've been daily driving the Siberia ROM for pff, almost a month, I think a little bit over the month, and I really, really like it. I flashed like almost every ROM on XDA, but I ended up using this. Um, performance is excellent, um, everything works, for example, um, sound on some of the custom ROMs on XDA, uh, they are very low, there's like a sound bug, but this one doesn't, so I really like it. Um, camera also pretty much works all the way, you can go ahead and use the OnePlus native camera, all you gotta do is uh, install the OnePlus camera afterwards, sorry about the mess here. So really love the camera, uh, photo works, video 4K works. Now this was one of the biggest things for me. With other ROMs, I would have a trouble where um, it would just, the video camera would work, but it would make these super large files and it would stutter. Um, I figured a way to actually solve that for all the custom ROMs, but this one has everything working out of the box. Portrait mode works. Oops, maybe portrait mode sometimes doesn't like to work. It does work, there you go. Portrait mode does work, I don't know what happened there. Nightscape also works. Um, the only thing that I haven't been able to get work is um, slow motion. But not a huge problem. You can go ahead and install Google Camera, uh, which has um, slow motion working just fine. So just go to slow motion here, and you'll be able to use slow motion just fine. All right, so that's nice. Also, with Google Camera, you're gonna be able to do night sight, which is really nice. All right, so I've got night sight working. Um, so I've got everything working. I like to use uh, Google Camera for most of my photos because you simply get better photos with it. Um, so definitely recommend it. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the customization you can do on this phone, um, which is probably its highlight. Uh, you probably noticed that I've got dark mode. I've got a custom uh, header there. That's all customizable. Customizable. Sorry, English is my second language and I'm getting old and I'm reverting back to my Korean Excellent. All right, um, you'll find all the customization in Siberia settings. Now, as far as um, just the theme, dark mode, you can find that in the default dis display mode. This is pretty much standard on all the Android 9.0. Um, so you can just go here. Um, also, I hit the notch. I hate the notch because I keep going over it. So um, I just hate the notch, so I got rid of it. So you can hide the notch there. Change the fonts. Um, this is where you can make everything dark. I do recommend using the dark mode because you will save battery life on any OLED displays like the OnePlus 6 because when it's dark, um, your display uses zero energy, right? This is not LCD. So Cyberry settings, a very nice, clean UI. Um, I really like how they put everything in one page here. All right, let's go over all of them. Let me give you a demo of some of these things. Um, general tweaks, you can sort of change your recent style to Oreo if you want even. Um, screen off animations, you can go ahead and change it, CRT, scale. Well, not too interesting there, but um, you can modify all your system animations there if you're into um, animations. Buttons, you're gonna be able to uh, customize some of your buttons. Now there's another section for buttons I'll show you in a bit. Um, privacy and power management, you'll be able to really pinpoint um, which apps can do stuff on your ROM. This is not offered by stock Android. This is much sophisticated level of managing your, your apps. You control when they wake up, uh, you can control the privacy guard, blah, blah, blah. Um, so look into that if you're into it. I know a lot of you want to customize your notifications, um, stuff like that. So that's what's for. Um, sound settings, all right, increasing ring volume, you can do that so it increases volume. Um, the longer you don't listen to your rings and it'll get loud so you can hear it. All right, gaming mode. If you play a lot of games, you like the gaming mode on the regular OnePlus 6, you can find all of that here plus more. Oh, there is also um, call recording, which comes with it, which is really nice. Let me go ahead and demonstrate. Go call 411. And boom shakalaka. You can go ahead and record your call. Anytime you want, which is really nice. By the way, 4G LTE, Wi-Fi calling, all that stuff works very, very good. I got my T-Mobile SIM card in there. You can see I'll pick him up. LTE Plus. Yay. Um, I forgot to tell you, yeah, it is running, obviously, Android 9.0. 
All right, Android 9. Uh, this is actually an older version. I'm running Siberia version 2.7. I think 2.8 or 2.9 is out already. I didn't have any problems with it. That's why I don't update. I know some of you guys asked me, um, should I update my ROM every time? No, I would only update if there's major changes or there's something broke and the update fixes it. Sometimes the updates can slow you down. It can give you introduce new bugs. So if you're okay with the current ROM that you're running, I actually recommend not update. It's like this, uh, don't break what's not broke. Is that the saying? Something like that. So don't break what's not broke, just hold on to it. Um, you'll find all the standard stuff like digital well-being um, in there, but let's go ahead and go back to Siberia settings. If you want to customize your lock screen, let me go ahead and switch to my other camera here. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you my lock screen real quick. And you will see I've got uh, weather. That's also, I put that in customization. One thing I really like about this ROM and several other ROMs have this, a lot of custom ROMs have this. Uh, you can actually see it charging the voltage and the current and even the temperature. Um, so you'll say dash charging. So this is a dash charger. And after a few seconds, you'll see it's dash charging. So it's a really easy way to see if you're dash charging or not with the voltage. All right, that's really nice. Now you will be able to find all of that in lock screen settings. You can even turn off fingerprint authentication, vibration off and the error. This is great when I'm sleeping. The OnePlus 6 tends to be a little loud with vibration. So my daughter likes to go to sleep and she's been sleeping over at the parents' bed. So this is a great way to keep quiet. If you need to be like super quiet, this is a great way to turn off that vibration. Um, it's actually really useful for me. And you'll be able to find that charging animation here. You can actually turn it off, but it's on by default. You can go ahead and add the weather here. The options are all there. I do recommend I'm um, going to set up options. Um, set the weather service to open weather map because um, the Yahoo one doesn't work correctly and you can set your location there. There is also a music visualizer. Let's go ahead and change the visualizer color to my favorite uh, green here. And if you do this, when you're listening to music, um, watching videos on YouTube, for example, um, you're gonna be able to uh, have a visualizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on for five seconds here. And boom shot on lock that. Oh, fingerprint sensor works great, by the way. I forgot to tell you. The fingerprint sensor is another reason I'm using the OnePlus 6 over the 6T. I mean, I love the 6T. I love the uh, slightly longer battery life, but it is thicker. And I just find the rear fingerprint sensor so much faster. I mean, I probably unlock the phone at least 100 times per day. If I can save half a second on every fingerprint, that works out to be I don't know, a few minutes. I like saving time. So I've been actually daily driving this, so I also really like that how thin it is. So sometimes it's not always about the best and latest. It's about something, you know, that you need. And I absolutely want the thinnest phone right now. Something that has fast fingerprint sensor because if I'm losing time trying to unlock my phone and sometimes the in-display fingerprint sensor gets dirty or whatever, whatever reason you're cooking, you got oil on your hands, you just ate a burrito. Oh man, it just gets so frustrating. Even with the S10, all this stuff. They do have face unlock, but sometimes they don't work because you're wearing sunglasses because I live in California. Hello. So I will really like OnePlus and everybody just get rid of the in-display fingerprint sensor. Sorry, let's get back on the ROM review. So let's go back to Siberia settings. There's also battery settings that you can mess with. Um, you can change the battery icon style. That's not too huge. Let's change it to a circle. We've got that circle there. All right, lastly but not least, if you're into gesture control, um, the beauty of this ROM, you will be able to use the OnePlus style navigation gestures. You can go ahead and turn this on. Um, so you can go ahead and swipe up, swipe up for home button. Sorry, I don't really use this much. I don't really like it. Um, you can go ahead and use that. And also it does have its own as gestures. It's slightly different, but you can actually customize it a little bit. You can change the haptic feedback duration. Um, so this way you can actually customize uh, your gestures just the way you like to. But again, I don't like using this because I'm not really a gestures guy. I like the buttons down there. I'm just old school OG, original gangster, yo. Uh, also, there is a screen power off button torch, power button torch. So when your screen's off, go ahead and hit the whole, uh, hold down the power button and it turns on and do it again and turns off. Um, comes real handy because my backyard is always dark and I've always got raccoons. Um, the other day I saw a skunk. 
they like to come around so there's no lights in some parts of my area and sometimes they'll sneak up on me and I need to get that flashlight on right away so I know what's coming. Damn serious, watch out for those raccoons and skunks. They can creep up on you. But they're friendly guys, don't worry, I usually feed them some apples once in a while. Anyway, very good ROM. Also, um, I am using this new type of uh, temper glass. It has this adhesive that almost acts like a loco glue. So let me just pull it out for you. It's It almost like fills in like really naturally. And it doesn't affect your screen at all. Now I've got some hair in there because when I was installing it, I wasn't paying attention and um, but I'll have a review of this particular brand. I really love it. I'm really impressed. But yeah, really love this ROM. Everything runs super fast. Uh, really dig the launcher also. Um, there's a ton of customization you can do. You can see I've got uh, I've got double docks down here so I can fit more apps. I can actually fit seven apps, seven by seven. It's really nice. Really love it. I've been daily driving this for a month. Now, insulation for these OnePlus 6 ROMs, you must install the stock firmware first and then install the custom ROM, custom ROM over it uh, without wipe. If you don't do that, your camera gets all wonky. This took me actually a whole week to figure out. Nobody put anything. But that's how you do it on the Xiaomi Mi 9. I think something to do with the system files on the stock firmware. So my recommendation is to install this after installing the latest oxygen firmware, install over it. Then you'll have less problems. Um, so try that. If you don't know how to do it, I'll have a full tutorial, step-by-step -step guide on how to install this. Now, if you don't have a rooted OnePlus 6, obviously you'll have to unlock the bootloader, root your damn phone first before you try this. So if you haven't done that, root your damn OnePlus 6, stop procrastinating, and get high on Android, and install a custom ROM, and revamp your phone. Um, it's so much faster, so much better than stock. I mean, I just love tinkering. And yeah, this is definitely one of my absolute favorite setups. Um, even though I have all these new phones, I got the S10, I got the whatever, uh, I got the Pixel 3 XL. Actually, this is one of my other drivers I really like also. Um, I don't know, I keep reverting back to OnePlus 6. It's really fast. I don't absolutely need the raw processing power, but the OnePlus 6 does all of that. And this is also a very good deal that you can buy right now. I think you can get it for a couple hundred. So it's a steal. I would get this if you guys want to stay on budget, if you want a customized phone. Not that the newer phones are actually even worth it because once you buy it, it's going to take six months to a year for ROM developers to actually develop cool ROMs like this. All right, anyway, it got kind of long. Again, if you want to install this, you have the knowledge. I'll put the, all the links that I use for this particular setup. I haven't tried the new Siberia version, so I'll put this one in case the new one has bugs, but try the newer one first. I don't think you'll have problems with it. But if you do have any trouble, go back to the one I'm using. All right, that's why the versions are important. Sometimes updates can break, so. But also, huge thanks to um, the developer of this ROM. Um, you can find all their team stuff um, in Siberia settings about Siberia team. Uh, if you feel like this ROM has helped your life, don't forget to donate to any of these guys. All right, their Telegram and XDA here, so you can also ask them for help. Uh, if you find any bugs, you can contact them. Anyway, Siberia ROM. I think it's supposed to be spelled S-I-B-E-R-I-A. But who cares, right? As long as the ROM works great, that's all I really care about. If you have a OnePlus 6, definitely check it out. Really love it. Have a great day. And as always, stay on OnePlus 6. Click here to subscribe.